Hi everyone, this is Nathan Shower, and this is the tutorial of how to create a KDevelop project for ISET and then run some quick uh, example problems together. First things first, let's download ISET. For to download ISET, you're going to have to download two folders, which are SciEng and SetSolver. And they are in a Mercurial repository. And I use Tortoise HG, but you can use Terminal or any other graphical interface. So let's open Tortoise. And let's already create a folder here at home programming that will be called ISET Tutorial for this video. Let's open it so we can see things being downloaded in real time. You see I already have another others uh, set I set downloaded and therefore let's start. Let's go to file, clone repository, we want to clone our repository and let's get just the URL for SciH. Okay, so here's the source the URL for SciEng and where I want it to be is here at programming I set tutorial so I want to be in this folder and I want to be with the name SciEng so if you have all this you can already click clone you're gonna see SciEng already appeared here and here you can see all the merges that have already been in SciEng let's create another folder here, um, new group. Let's change the name to I set tutorial, and let's get this change that was created and put it here. Okay, now that we have change, let's also clone set solver. So again, same process: clone repository. Now in here. It's gonna be set solver. I want to be in the same uh, second. You have to clone the URL. Sorry for that. Here, and I want to be created in the same folder as a tutorial with the same set solver. It appears the hg comment as if it you would do it in the terminal, and we are ready to click clone. Set over already appear here. Set over is bigger, so it's gonna take a little bit more. Okay, set over appeared. Let's put it in our new folder here, and you can see the last commit changes in iset. <coughs> the working directory, nothing changed. Set over is here. And therefore, we can close Tortoise. Good. Inside Set Solver, there will be a file called Readme Linux KDevelop, which I'm going to upload later on. And so, in the meantime, let's pretend that he's here. And what we're going to do, we're going to open it and follow the steps that are in, in it together. So, here. Let me close this one. I don't need to close it. Yeah, I can close it. Close it out. So, first step, step zero, check out set over and change the same folder. We did it. Both of them are here. Install, now, install the needed patches using sudo apt get install command. So, if you go to the terminal, pressing com control alt t, you use the sudo apt get install command to install these guys. For instance, let's see lib la pack and if you press tab two times which the lib la pack that exist are gonna appear here. You see lib la pack dev in here and that's the one he's asking to install. Have installed all those packages here Never forget to change a file from libparmatis. And so in this file here, at user include mats, mats .h, you open it, and this line, you're going to find it there. It's not a big file. Just comment it, 
in C++ by pressing bar bar slash slash. Now, having done that, let's open kdevelop. Let me change screen here. And I'm open kdevelop. You should can download it on Software Center. Let's leave this here and kdevelop here so we can follow the steps together. Open kdevelop. Step two, open kdevelop and follow the steps. Project. So let's put a little bit more here so we can see everything. Project open import. So let's go project open import project. Select to make list file at set solver folder. So let's go to the programming. I set tutorial set solver to make lists inside the set solver folder. Next, choose a name for the KDEV project. S and I would suggest here a name. Let's pick the same name. This is the, the name for your KDEVELOP project. Click finish. Now it appears here in this box and change the build directory to the same level as set solver and Cyange. So this is where you want it to build the project. So I want it here in the same level as set solver Cyange and Cyange with the name project kdev. We'll type the bug, you can change this later. So click OK. OK, I already have here I set project kdev. And what? let's go to step number three, therefore. Change number of threads for compilation. Well, we want to compile with our eight processors to be as fast as we can. So to do that, you go to project, open configuration, make, and change number of simultaneous jobs to eight. Apply, and OK. Okay, now let's configure the selection. We go to step number four, project, configure selection. So project, configure selection. You see here, it appears my asset configuration at the end. I'm using compiler GCC 4.8, Unix make files. Actually, kdevelop, it manages make files. Uh, config tap optimize, it's fast. So um, here are the compiler facts, definitions, and OK. We configured and note, if you want to change something, go back to projects, open configuration. So if I go here to project, open configuration, here are the configurations of my asset. If I want to use Seagull, Boost Python, MATLAB, well, but we're not going to do anything here now. So next step is step number five, let's build a set. To build a set, you just click build in here and a set to be built with eight cores. I think this should take something like 30 to 40 seconds. And you can see material where the weak formulations are implemented. A lot of different problems that were solved, material two. Mesh, GOL, geometrical elements, types of elements. Post for post processing, pre processing, and some executables. Okay, it, uh, we got finished, so I set was built. Now let's choose. We have many executables that were linked with the library I set. So if you see here at the end, you have create static library libiset.a. So this is a library with a lot of different functions and classes, and it can be used by any of those executables, executables like test MATLAB, test Seagull, test OpenMP. So let's choose my first test, and to do that, let's do step number six. So go run, configure launches. So let's go here in kdevelop, run configure launches 
for I set project K dev. We're gonna add a new one. I set project K dev. And click here, project my first asset simulation, my first test. Okay. Here you don't have to do anything, just click OK. And to execute, just click execute. We're just going to execute my first test. Exit normally, uh, the project, this executable is working fine. Now let's choose another executable, and this executable is the one that uses a TCL interface. Uh, I said can have an interface with TCL, and what you do, you, you, you call this executable, TCL I set, passing to him a TCL file which has commands to what you want your uh, simulation to do. So let's to change executable. Let's go as it says here go run, configure launches, add new, I set project kdev, TCL I set. Let's see now. In arguments, you have to choose which TCL file is going to be used. There is one which is always copied with the name 2D, Tria Heat, Dishle, Point, Analytic P1 TCL. So this file has to be in the same folder as your executable TCL I set. As he is already copied there, I'm going to put it here. So I'm passing as our argument to the TCL, to the executable this TCL. Apply. OK. And changing executable and executing. So run, let's change for TCL I set. You go run. Current launch configuration. I'm now with this dot here in my first test. Let's change to TCL I set. Change to TCL I set. Now to run, just click execute. And once again, exited normally. It seems to be working fine. First reminder to fully validate this I set build, you have to run the QA tests. And also, in KDevelop is a very good interface for programming, I think. It has a very good debugger. Uh, it's very easy to go to places in the code. For instance, if I go to the folder mesh and open uh, compltet.h and oh, this compltet is son of compltgfn. If I hold control and click in compltgfn, he takes me there. Or even more, if quick open, if I type here geomesh, he already gives me the geomesh files, the geomesh class. I can double click. I can click here and see uh, many things about the class. You can go to the GeoMesh class clicking here. It's very interesting. The debugger is also very good, clicking here debug. So you can put a breakpoint and stop the code at any line and see what's happening. And I think for now that's it. And next video I'm going to do is how to integrate Seagal in KDevelop. And thank you very much. If you have any doubts, this is my email. Feel free to contact me with any doubts. I'm going to stop the recording now. And to do that, pause recording. Thank you very much. Bye.